Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 28, and this is war number six. And we're going up against an alliance called Vietnam Heroes. All right, so we're going to go in here. We're going to spectate first. And as you can see, nobody's in there right now. Uh, so we're getting in nice and early. And let's see what we got here. Okay, so I have, wow, I'm the only path that doesn't have any defender on it. I take path three, um, but that void, I run suicides. So I generally don't fight voids. It's, it's I'm not changing my suicides off for that. So that that's kind of rough. I kind of want to fight void, you know, because I don't have anybody else on my path, but I'm seeing a lot of empties. Wow. Maybe they um, didn't have enough folks join, but okay. Well, somebody else clears the middle. And we got Ultron here. Hmm. You know, I could bring uh, Magneto. Ooh, we got magic over there. Okay. Um, now, instead of bringing a counter for magic, I can just take both these fights with Claire because Claire can heal up. So that's not a big deal. Uh, I could also take that fight with Warlock because I usually bring Warlock in. Um, can even do the fight really with uh, Nick Fury. Uh, just take a lot of damage because she is going to proc. Uh, and then we got Mole Man. I might be able to take him with uh, Warlock as well. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'll probably end up fighting him since I didn't have anybody on, on uh, Path 3, uh, Section 1 to fight. All right, let's see. Mini Boss Island. All right, so we've got um, Havoc. Hmm. Warlock can do that fight. Uh, we got Korg. Ugh. Hate fighting Korg, uh, especially on that one. Um, but Havoc can do that fight. Omega Red can do that fight. Uh, Claire can do that fight. But the node itself is what's annoying. That stunning reflection. Um, we got Domino. That's Warlock food. Then off to the left, we've got Hyperion, which is annoying and rage. But Claire can do that fight. Uh, maybe pop a invulnerability boost for when he acts up and doesn't want to fire anything but a special. Uh, special three. Uh, now that bishop, you really want an incinerate immune um, to fight him. Claire, I guess, could do it, but I'm still not confident in fighting bishops since his rework. And then you got uh, Storm Pyramid X. Uh, that fight can be done with Warlock or Claire or uh, Nick Fury. All right, so that's the way it's looking. I'm going to uh, make my moves, which is going to be just using up my energy up to that void. I'm trying to think. With my suicides on, I can, I mean, Warlock, I can try to do that fight with Warlock. Um, yeah, I mean, I can try that with Warlock. That might work. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. So we'll be back with the uh, fighting. All right. We're back. And I'm going in with my standard team, Nick Fury, Black Widow, Clairvoyant, and Warlock. Didn't see anything that would make me change who I'm going to take in. All right. Uh, we've already spectated the path, as you saw earlier. Uh, so we're just going to dive right on in. Uh, there has been... Uh, some defenders on my path in the past that have caused me to change up that team, but not right now. So no defender <laughs> on uh, that path, but there is a mini uh, that is void. Now, I usually do not fight void because I run suicides, but because I didn't fight anything on my path, I felt like I had to. I had to go against this void. So uh, I'm going to boost up 
and pretty much try to out damage any degen that I'm going to be taking. That's that's my entire strategy. You know, boost up. Uh, I'm going to go in. I believe I went in with uh, Nick Fury. And that's just because, of course, he has a second life and, and all of that. Uh, and I was fairly confident that Nick Fury could take down Void before I died with Nick Fury. All right. So as you can see, boosting up even with the health boost, because that'll give me a little bit more time for his uh, damage to do its work on Void. All right. And so we're going in. And uh, no, I didn't go in with Nick Fury. I went in with uh, Warlock. I was thinking about going in with Nick Fury. Huh, okay. Um, but anyway, so we are, we're we going in with Warlock and you can see I'm trying to do heavy attacks to get some bleeds on him uh, and do as much damage as I can uh, to him. Got hit there because stuff happens. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, suddenly, no blocking, no parry. Yeah, it just happens. Um, and it's not just in war right now. It's happening everywhere. But, you know, half health and we got her done. I honestly wonder if I did that by mistake. Because normally I would have gone in here with Nick Fury. Uh, and I'm wondering, because it's been a while. This, this, this is uh, several wars back I'm trying to catch up. Uh, I keep saying that I'm not going to do this and let myself get behind so far because I can't quite remember uh, what I was thinking at that time. But uh, I think that's what most likely happened. I, I may have meant to go in with uh, Nick Fury and then just went in with uh, Warlock by mistake. Or someone on Mini Boss Island, I was going to take uh, Nick Fury after and decided that I didn't need Warlock for anything. But yeah, that's that's odd. I usually would uh, would have done Nick Fury because of all the reasons that I mentioned, you know, the extra life, uh, the damage. So but we got him down. You know, it is what it is. We got him down. Uh, maybe I was just too nervous about fighting Void. And I thought, uh, let me go in with Warlock because he has double immunities and so could last a little bit longer. That That could be as well. All right. First uh, fight in section two is a almost a staple because Colossus is a great option for this node, but Black Widow Clairvoyant is a great option for that node as well. Uh, anytime I see Colossus there, Black Widow is going to handle him real good. Now, right there, I could have pushed and finished it, but I didn't want any shenanigans. I'm real nervous about this time because of what happened previously where I just suddenly started getting hit in the face. So I wasn't going to push. I just said, you know what? Let me let me just bait that out. Yes, I could hit him one more time or even into his block, but I'm going to wait. And we got him down safely. Now, next up is magic. Now, with magic... I remember when magic was a royal pain and I always hated fighting magic because there weren't that many counters to her at that time. There are now, you know, there was no warlock to try to stop her uh, healing or anything like that. Uh, so uh, Kabam has given us uh, several health potions. And as you saw there, I was thinking about healing up warlock to take this fight. But instead I said, you know what? Let me save those, I might need them for later. And went in with Black Widow Clairvoyant instead. Now for this fight, uh, I'm trying to be very, very careful. All right, and you see that she got, uh, she's healing back. And I'm just like, Ugh. you know, let's not do this. Try and get, you know, try not to evade all that much. There we go, going in, healing myself up a little bit. Um, not too much, but we didn't lose a lot either. And down goes magic. I love Black Widow Clairvoyant. She is truly a beast. One of my favorite mystics, for sure. All right. So my path is done. But now, 
we've got Mole Man. Mole Man used to catch me a lot because he would shrug off and it seems like the AI times the shrug off perfectly to do a one-two counter. You know, I, I've, I've done this. I actually sat there and waited and the timing when they um, purify or whatever doesn't seem to be consistent. You know, it's like if I don't attack, there's one timing, but if I attack, the timing is right then. Attack, purify, counter. It's it's real annoying, but it doesn't happen all the time. All right, so as you can see, we're boosting up again. This time I did heal up because Warlock can handle this node. It's a buffet node, as you saw. And he can stop the regeneration. So I don't mind that I didn't get the parry there. You know, as long as he's hitting into my block, he's going to be building up the infections. And look at that. Already up there. He's not healing anymore. And you see right there, I was able to get in there fast enough that I didn't have to worry about it. Do not hit his block. When he sits there like that, don't hit his block. That's asking for a five-piece no biscuit. Okay? Right to your face. Don't do it. Let him come and attack you. I had to learn that the hard way. All right? So boom, 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 we're sitting here. Um, he's he's going down, he's going down a little bit. Um, I think we let our infections uh, wear off a little bit as we were waiting for him to attack. Now you see right there, I didn't get there fast enough. Now the first time I did, boom, it was fast. This time they were ready for me, okay? You see how I just waited? I waited that time because I'm like, yeah, you're gonna purify it and I'm not gonna try to beat you like that, all right? See how I'm trying to wait a little bit to see if he's gonna purify? Um, but that doesn't always work. So very, very annoying, very, very inconsistent, but it is what it is. We got him down. We didn't die. It's all that matters. Um, and I think I still have some health potions in the, uh, overflow. Uh, Kabam was, was quite generous with those. All right. Now we're on mini boss Island and I'm looking around to see who, and I know that I could take that domino with my, uh, warlock. But I think there are better options that are brought in uh, towards the end. So I said, all right, let me finish off this uh, Hyperion. Hyperion! And uh, Claire is great for this node. As you can see, it's a Rage node. But we don't have to worry about that with Claire. Because if we do trigger uh, the node and he gets a Fury... She nullifies it. So not that big of a deal. You see, I swapped out. I've got several of those. I can't even claim my uh, compensation yet because I got to use those up. All right. So we're going in. And as you can see here, um, he did throw his special. So that's good. But I'm ready. I've got an invulnerability boost. So as long as I play this okay, I can tank three of his uh, special threes. All right, you see he's acting up again. And so I was like, all right, fine. We're just going to push you. Boom. And if you fire your special, who cares? All right, he did that folding arms in the B-boy stance thing. I really hate when he does that. He's just like, no, I'm not going to fire a special. Only a special three. But invulnerability. Indestructible. Boom. Hit him with my special two. And he's done. All right, so pretty simple fight, uh, especially if you boost up. And that is going to do it, guys, for my portion of this war. And we'll take a brief intermission, and we'll be back. And I wasn't going to take that bishop because I am unfamiliar with how to fight him properly, don't know what the good counters are or anything like that. Uh, that's why you see me. I was looking here, and I'm just like, yeah, no, I don't think so. All right, so we'll be right back and you'll find out how we did in this war. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. We're on a little bit of a winning streak here. Uh, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.